Hey there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome and thanks for joining me on TCM as our Summer Under the Stars salute to George C. Scott continues. Of course, it wouldn't be a righteous tribute to Scott if we didn't include what is generally considered his finest performance, the movie that earned him the Oscar for Best Actor. From 1970, it's Patton, the story of World War II Army General George Patton. The movie was the first huge blockbuster of the decade, surprising given that it's a war film. The country in 1970 was fully preoccupied and deeply divided over the war in Vietnam. Yet out of this polarizing political environment came this World War II biopic praised by critics and adored by audiences. Scott stars as George Patton, one of the most controversial military leaders of the 20th century. The movie follows him from 1943 to 45, just before his stunning post-war death in an auto accident. This is a big World War II epic, but nothing in the film is as big as Scott's larger-than-life portrayal of Patton, who Scott plays accurately, history tells us, as a fearless, egomaniacal warrior from another age, a man who lived for war. Patton's exploits in North Africa quickly earned him fame and a nickname, Old Blood and Guts. The film aims big, trying to capture not only the grand real-life events that shaped Patton's career, but also the inner workings of his brilliant and complex strategic mind. Through it all, we see the flaws that came along with the greatness. From 1970, here is George C. Scott as Patton. Patton is considered one of the finest biopics of its era and obviously starred George C. Scott as the driving force. Patton dominated the Academy Awards, winning seven Oscars, including Best Actor for Scott. Famously, Scott did not accept his Oscar, which came as no great surprise because Scott had already refused the nomination. The Academy didn't care and Scott won the award anyway. Rather nobly, Scott didn't believe actors should compete with each other. A year later, Scott received his fourth and final Oscar nomination for 1971's The Hospital. He refused that nomination as well. Up next, George C. Scott gives another Oscar-honored performance. This time, the setting is a smoky pool hall, also inhabited by Paul Newman, Jackie Gleason, and Piper Laurie. It's The Hustler in this week's edition of The Essentials with Robert Osborne and Sally Field. 